Okay, uh, next question is question, I believe it's four here. So it's asking us uh, how many valence electrons are in the silicon atom? So how many valence electrons are in are in silicon. So there's a couple ways to think about this problem, depending on how when it's asked. Um, in terms of if this was asked in terms of a um, a lower level kind of chemistry or science course, you would basically draw a Bohr Rutherford and you would think about how many valence electrons exist in the shell. So let me just do that one first. So you can I'll think of, you can think of this problem in two ways. So you can think of this problem as um, let's see here one. Let me just see here of one and then two and three here so you can think about si being in the middle so s oh sorry so si here is in the middle uh you can have one two valence electro uh two electrons in the first shell and then it signifies that it's in the first column here the second column is all filled as well so you can say that i have eight Valence elect eight electrons in my next shell, not valence, sorry, eight electrons. And then finally, in my uh, last shell here, I have one, two, three, four. I have four electrons here. So you one, one, two, three, and four here. So this here, you can say, oh, because I have, I have four ele valence electrons here, in the last shell, I have four valence electrons. So if it was asked in, in terms of a lower level chemistry question, uh, you can say that uh, silicon here has four valence electrons, just because uh, uh, you see here, I'll highlight this in blue, uh, there's four valence electrons, there's four electrons here. In the outer shell, right? So if it was asked in that in that in that context, this solution would be correct. However, if it was asked in terms of a grade twelve context or a senior level chemistry question, then you have to uh, figure uh, write out the electron configuration of silicon and see um, how and then see how uh, what valence electrons are available, right? So if it was asked in it, so this is a grade kind of grade nine question here. But if we if we want the electron configuration. of silicon, what I would have to do is I have to write SI here, and then I have SI the colon here, so I'm writing my square brackets here. So again, silicon here, I have two electrons in the first or energy level, so it's going to be one S2. I have, uh, uh, in the secondary energy level, two S2 is also filled, right? So two S2 is filled as well. 2p6 is also filled, right? All of these electrons are filled here. So 2p6 is filled. Uh, 3s2 is also filled, right? This is 3s2 here. So 3s2 is filled. And then finally, I have 3p and then 2, right? I have 1 and then 2, and I'm at silicon here. So this is 3p2. Basically, if I look at I want to look at the valence electrons here, I'm looking at my electron configuration here. I'm looking at the last orbital or the last energy level, um, which is uh, I, at n equals three, right? So at n equals three, this here is my principal quantum number here. I, I'm going to look at these three here, these guys too. And as you can see, I have two s orbitals, so or two s electrons, two electrons here on on three s two and two on two p on three p, right? So I have two. 3s electrons plus 2 3p electrons. So therefore, I have four valence electrons. So it really depends on how you think about this problem here. Again, uh, in reality here, we know actually silicon hybridizes, and we actually know that this um, it doesn't actually have the, uh, it forms four bonds by doing um, by splitting this to 3p uh, 3p. 3 uh 3s sp3 orbitals right so basically um and the, these two energy levels actually hybridize to form 3 sp3 orbitals but uh 
you uh, for the for the for the, basically the extent of the question you won't need to know uh this kind of concept here so uh basically it has four valence electrons so one two three four as you can see by the bohr rutherford diagram and as you can see by the electron configuration here this has highest principal energy or the principal quantum number is three so therefore i'm adding two plus two here is equal to four so the solution here is correct Thank <laughs> you.